Isaiah 58, 11 says, The Lord will guide you continually and satisfy your soul in drought. Strengthen your bones. You will be like a watered garden, like a spring of water whose waters do not fall. He's talking about the benefits of prayer and fasting. He's talking about seeking him, um, setting aside something that you seek for satisfaction, like food, um, and instead, during the times when you desire those things, seeking him and praying over something specifically. That is really the, <clears throat> the main idea behind fasting. And when you are doing that, he says he will guide you. He will satisfy you. He will strengthen you. He will take care of you. Um, and this is something that you can do in times when you feel distant from him, times of spiritual dryness. This is something that you can do when you need an answer, when you're struggling, seeking direction, seeking guidance in so many ways. Fasting is a way to draw near to the Lord in a posture of humility. And scripture tells us when we draw near to him, he draws near to us. There's a promise there. And so I would encourage you to really try a time of fasting. Not just setting aside something um, and allowing some other thing to fill in that time. But setting aside a meal for the day, for example. And then in the time when you would normally be preparing that meal, um, eating that meal, cleaning up after that meal. Spending time in prayer over whatever the issue is.